What is going on guys? Welcome to uh, my little before and after uh, refinishing a $250 uh, in really rough shape SKS. This is a uh, Chinese SKS. Um, this is the before. I'm literally shooting this after I just did the unboxing because I'm immediately going to start working on it, but this is just in ridiculously rough shape. Uh, we've got a crack in the stock right there. Got a ding in the stock here. Uh, Stock's kind of coming apart there. Don't know if I'm going to replace the stock or not at this point. Covered in Cosmoline, as I showed in my last video. I mean, it's just, it's just, ugh, it's nasty. All inside, everything. But, as I said in my last video, um, I'm glad that it's wet Cosmoline and not dried on Cosmoline. Once I get everything cleaned off, we'll see what the finish looks like. I mean, it looks okay to me. Um, you know, obviously there's some finish wear there, but it doesn't look bare, per se. Um, there's still a little bit of... Uh, finish on the receiver and on the barrel and everything but we'll see gonna disassemble everything gonna clean the crap out of it all gonna determine whether or not I need to replace the stock and then we're gonna slap this thing back together so uh, stick around through the magic of editing the next time you see this it will be practically a brand new rifle all right and here we are all done all finished up it took a little over 24 hours. I worked on this basically from uh, Friday midday to Saturday night. And that's basically all I did for a day and a half, give or take. All right? um, and finally got it finished up. Now most of the work that I did on this was on the stock, and I'll explain why here in just a minute. As far as the mechanical pieces, the metal, all that kind of stuff, um, basically it was cosmically removal. That was 99% of it. It was disassembling everything, cleaning all the cosmically now, the trigger, magazine inside outside the receiver bolt the firing pin channel the rear sight the gas block the bayonet the front sight the barrel which by the way has amazingly crisp rifling in it so i don't think this thing was shot very much obviously it was carried a lot if you look at the finish if you look at the condition of the stock this thing's been beat up but i don't think it was fired hardly at all uh the the barrel is the the the, the rifling is just in too good a shape um but that's mostly what I did to this. Other than that, I did have to put a light coating of blue on the receiver and on the magazine. They were bare metal. There was nothing on them, and I didn't want to worry about rusting. So I did put a light coat of blue on there to get it to be kind of that same gunmetal gray as the barrel and everything else has faded to. Um, other than that, that's, that's all I did with the metal of this. Now, as far as the stock goes, okay, the stock is a whole different story. First off, I didn't realize this when I first got it. This, ch this chunk of wood is missing right here. Uh, this thing is supposed to come up like this side does. The stock's supposed to come up and come down. It's supposed to do the same thing on this side. Come up, come down, and then usually about right here, it dips down. And for the, the ejection and all that kind of stuff, it's lower here. There's supposed to be a dip cut out of it. Well, apparently at some point that broke off and somebody, I guess, just sanded it down and took it off. Or maybe it was a factory defect. I don't know, but it doesn't have that piece of wood. That does not bother me. I just didn't notice it when I first got it. So there's that. Second, by the time I got all the Cosmoline off of this thing, which was a three-step process. First, simple green. Second, solvent. Third, heat gun. By the time I did all that and did a little sanding in a few places here and there, patched up a couple little little cracks and dings and that kind of stuff, um, the, the finish that was left on this was just toast. So, I came back with a little, I think they call it English walnut or English chestnut color stain and just restained it to bring out the texture again. Okay, And that's when I noticed that it had some trench art on there. In fact, let me turn around the other way so you guys can see it better. It's got a little star carved into it, which I thought was really cool and made me want to save this rifle, if at all possible. Or, excuse me, not the rifle, but the stock itself. Uh, just because I thought it was kind of cool. And that's probably a communist star. <laughs> I mean, this is a Chinese SKS. But uh, I wanted to try and save it because I just thought that was kind of cool. Um, and that's why I dealt with the crack. Now, here's the deal with the crack. So, you guys know I showed you the crack right here. What I didn't realize is it goes to here then it comes to here, and I don't know if you guys can see this, and it runs right up there. Can you see that crack? Crack goes there, there, back there, and then cracks there, kind of along the grain. Now, right here, the crack is really, really shallow. Right here, it was pretty deep. Right here at the receiver, it was pretty deep. So, what I did is I took a combination of silicone glue and super glue, and then I kind of opened it up a little bit with a screwdriver, and I packed that glue in there. Then I took some paracord and I wrapped around the handle here, really, really, really tight, pulled it tight and left it there for about six hours. And then I removed the uh, paracord, scraped off a little excess glue out here, and I'm hoping that holds. Uh, certainly holds better than wood glue. Uh, we'll see. Uh, when I get a chance to shoot this thing, um, I'm going to take it out and we'll see if the stock holds up. I hope it does because I like the fact that it's got a little trench art on it and I like the fact that it, it just looks 
cool. It's just a, a good, you know, used looking surplus SKS. I like the look of it, so I hope I don't have to change out the stock. We shall see if I have to do that or not. But there you go, guys. There's a $250 SKS from Classic Firearms. It's in pretty good shape. This one is from 1957. You can tell by the serial number for anybody who doesn't know how to read these serial numbers on the Chinese ones. Um, they're a Type 56, so they were made originally in 1956. If the serial number starts with a zero, it's a 1956. If it starts with a one, it's a 57. If it starts with a two, it's a 58, and so on. Mine starts with a one, which means this is a 1957. And overall, in very, very, very shootable condition, we'll just have to see how it turns out with the stock. But that's pretty much it, guys. There you go. There's the before and after. Hope you enjoyed it. Got any questions, any comments, anything like that, leave it down below, and we will talk to you guys later. Take it easy, guys.